That's a question we've all asked. Max presented Family Fortunes for two years, taking over from the show's original host, Bob Munkhouse. It was Bob who suggested calling the show Family Fortunes because he thought the American title, Family Feud, sounded too aggressive. Although, when you hear some of the bizarre answers he had to cope with, you wonder whether the Americans had a point. Give a good reason for man to dig a hole in the road. Name it. Uh, gas man. They've put me looking for the gas man. <laughs> Happy. Um, grave digger. The grave digger is digging a hole in the road. You know where you see on the road it says dead slow. <laughs> Name one of the ingredients in chicken stuffing. Chicken. Chicken. Hey, you stuff chicken with a chicken. <laughs> Name a world famous violinist. Name. Sugini. 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 Have you got the pronunciation wrong? It's not Semprini, is it? That's who I meant. Oh, you, yeah, Semprini. <laughs> You're quite right. When I see Semprini tuck that piano under his chin, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> there's a Hayden Wood, isn't there? Fine composure. Ron? Violinsky. Say it again? Violinsky. Violinsky. <laughs> We're getting some good names here. <laughs> the top three answers on the board. Name something that uses microchips. Name it. Fish fryer. You see, even back in Bob's day, the family fortune's theory of relativity prevailed. There's always an auntie, uncle, brother, sister, mum or dad who'll let the family down. <laughs> Name a famous Irishman. Yes. Disraeli. Disraeli? Disraeli? No. I think I'll have to my I'll tell you what, you get idiots as well on this program. <laughs> All right, what do you think of bird with a long neck? Um, blackbird. <laughs> I'm going to risk saying it. If it's up there, I'll give you the money myself. <laughs> a blackbird. <laughs> Three lives have gone, so the Banyaras get a chance to steal Lee. Naomi Campbell. <laughs> what do you think? Top six answers. An occupation where you might use a torch. A burglar. A burglar. <laughs> I'm looking for a burglar. <laughs> no, he's there. A famous Irish man. Um, <laughs> Thomas O'Malley. Thomas O'Malley, yes. That's right, yes. He's got the fish shop in Kilburn, hasn't he? Yeah. Thomas O'Malley. <laughs> Six answers, we asked a hundred people to name something that might frighten Dracula. Jake. Uh, Bob Munkhouse. <laughs> Tina, a famous Irish man. <laughs> Huey McPhee. <laughs> Okay, top six answers in this third game. We asked a hundred people to name something you wouldn't try even once. Matthew. Sex on a train. <laughs> Sex on a train. <laughs> no. <laughs> Funnily enough, our survey people didn't come up with that one. <laughs> I tell you what, if you just get, if you get two answers, I'm going to give it to you. A, a famous Irish man. Yes, sir. Gareth Fitzgerald. <laughs> Gareth Fitzgerald. <laughs> Terry, Terry Wogan. <laughs> It's not only the daft answers that have been memorable, the chats I have with the players can be just as hilarious, especially when they're great characters like Eddie from the Rose Family, the unluckiest man ever to play Family Fortunes.
You're supposed to be accident prone, yeah? Yes, I was. I, I was um, on a roof one day, nine o'clock one morning, and I fell off and uh, slid down a, a garage roof and went to a, a downstairs window and cut my leg pretty bad. That was at nine o'clock in the morning. They took me into hospital, they sewed my leg up and uh, put it in a case and put me in the waiting room and by now it's about 12 o'clock. And they gave me a pair of crutches, they said, you can go on, being a tiny little just up the road. And I was on my way home and uh, going out the hospital gates when the crutch slipped and I fell down and broke my finger. <laughs> So uh, they uh, took me into the surgery, put it in a splint, and put me back in the waiting room. By now it's about half past three. And I, went, I said, what time's the out? They said, you must go home in an ambulance this time. I waited till half past four, the ambulance didn't come, so I sneaked out. And I'm halfway home and I saw a friend of mine up, in, up a ladder and he looked down at me, he was on a forecourt of a shop, and he said, what the hell have you been doing? And I, and I started to tell him, he said, I can't hear you. He said, I'll, uh, I'm coming down. So I hobbled over to the bottom of the ladder. And he dislodged some heavy equipment. I woke up in hospital with six stitches in my head. <laughs> oh, I love him. Unsteady Eddie, the only man who sees an ambulance and shouts, Taxi! <laughs> See you after the break for more mishaps and mayhem on Family Misfortunes.